Hello and welcome to my first of my God's Girls talks. Um, hello and welcome to the first of my talks um, for hashtag God's Girls. So I will get straight on to it. So um, my talk is called is entitled God Does Not Like Ivy. Um, so, um, I had a sudden feeling when I awoke yesterday that God does not like ivy and I thought of my little pot in the garden which is, um, you know, got loads of ivy in it and I've had it for a while and I, you know, I, you know, it's just like a pot of ivy and then I got thinking about it, hmm, God doesn't like ivy, um, and then I kind of thought about it um spiritualizing it and then i thought uh it strangles the other plants uh so shall i get rid of it or is this a spiritual lesson also that the ivy spiritual ivy you know the ivy can strangle things in our lives so it kind of got me on to the seeing the ivy and the thing that started the whole thing is i have um plastic ivy coming out of a box it caught my eye and then the whole thing Ooh. so I got thinking then um, ivy we have some here ivy plastic ivy so ivy have you got ivy in your life which is strangling parts of you like your heart your spirit have you got ivy in your life so that got me thinking about that and then what could ivy be in your life it could be friends it could be work colleagues it could be a spouse it could be in-laws it could be all kinds of things um so i went out to inspect the pot and as i pulled the ivy i saw then it was so it, it had tendrils going out to, to plants in my garden and bushes and trees so I thought oh, this is not good so I pulled it off and then I cut it off and made quite a big pile insert photograph And uh, and I thought, well, I don't want to get rid of the whole thing. I'll, I'll leave a little bit back. I thought, I can't be a bit sad. I thought, I can't just, like, kill the plant, you know. <laughs> and so I thought, should I just leave, like, a little bit? So I kind of, left, like, left a little bit. And then I, it was almost like, mm, that one little bit in the thing could start to grow again and overgrow, um, you know, and then start and same as spiritual ivy you know it could just start growing again you know we have things in our lives that are spiritual you know we we nip them in the bud or we cut it off and and then it just carries carries on again so it's best to to get the whole thing out so i got thinking mm, god doesn't like ivy and then spiritualizing the ivy again uh, sorry, I'm reading from my notes because I, I, I wrote it down because I'm not very good at remembering large paragraphs. So I thought, ivy's not a good thing. What is the ivy in our lives question? I thought about spiritual ivy. Um, ivy that we think looks okay and it grows fast. Uh, I am, God does not like ivy. Lord, show me the ivy in my life. 
is the prayer I want to share with you. Show me, help me, grant me the wisdom to know and see for what it is, the ivy, and remove it fully. What is the ivy in my life? What is the ivy in your life? Things, desires, other than what God wants, a dream of more possessions, a house, a car, a holiday, not being content with what we have. It could be a hurt from a relationship, a past hurt, things we're holding on to, regrets, things we cannot accept, a love lost one, the pain of that, the, the grief. We can't change the past. It could be something that happened in the past, some abuse. So Lord, show me the ivy in my life, in my heart that is wrapped around my heart, that is wrapped around my spirit, my mind, my emotions. Show me the ivy, the spiritual ivy. As I take a pen and write down, even as you're listening to me, take a pen and, and, and write down um, what comes to mind as I'm speaking these words and asking to show you how to remove it, but not only remove it, but remove the root. So you can live a life free from the spiritual bondage, this strangling of life, this strangling of our spirit, so we're not in full freedom so it could be a past hurt and then it's just dwelling on it it's, you know it's just wrapped around our heart and our motion so we need to, to cut it so we've got this ivy you know just growing around our heart and it's just strangling the life out of us and out of it and out of the freedom that Christ wants to give us so cut it off but only cut it off and cut these tendrils get rid of the whole thing <laughs> so I felt that was very drunk very dramatic that and like get rid of the whole thing well ivy gone in jesus name so we pull up the whole root lord show me the ivy in my life lord i lay my life before you now show me teach me heal me lord as i go and pull out the last of the ivy pull out all the spiritual ivy that is growing around my heart let us reflect on all areas of our life, not holding anything back from the Lord, as he sees it all anyway. Um, we can't, um, he sees all in our heart anyway. And remember that song, Poison Ivy, there's like a famous song in the 60s, and the poison ivy, but that's about a woman. But maybe it's a person in your life, which is spiritual uh, ivy. So, cut to the root, get the root out, pull it all out, get all the little tendrils out that are like, well, I'll get rid of that or I'll stop doing that and there's just like a little bit left that won't harm me. Just, just get it all out. Get the whole thing out and chuck it. The little strangling shoots of the heart and mind, emotions and eyes and thinking, just it's best just to get it out. Wanting a better home. Wishing could move fitter than a younger. We've got to accept the aging process. Grey hair is wisdom, the Bible says. And I haven't got grey hair, but I will have one day. There could be other things, you know. It could be wanting the best boyfriend, the perfect boyfriend. Wanting someone to like you, who, who, who you like, if you're single. It could be deemed being discontented, married even, and the grass isn't greener, and there's lessons to, to learn in, you know, diamonds, knocking diamonds, you know, rough diamonds, kind of grinding against each other. It kind of makes it more perfect and polished, doesn't it? Like there, there is an analogy there. I can't remember what it is I've found. But, uh, so if you're in a marriage and you think your partner's poison ivy just pray pray about it. it i'm not saying to leave your partner but um pray about it if there's things they're saying forgive them so you haven't got the ivy grown in your heart of of unforgiveness and pray how to be a better a spouse to your partner and to love them with god's love which is endless and continuous and doesn't have uh, you know limits and put boundaries in so if someone winds you up the wrong way at work if it's a college put a boundary in i'm not going to let them and that brings me to my other point which is put on the whole armor of god 
So if you put on whole armour of God and keep your heart protective and protective and there's um, other scriptures as well which I will share with you. So put on the full armour of God. So we have finally Ephesians 6, 6, no Ephesians 6 and it's 10, is it 10, 2, um, 18? Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God so when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you've done everything to stand, stand then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness, with your feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And there's like a clue if you had your shield of faith and people are upsetting you and the ivy's starting to grow, get shield of faith, bat it out, sword of the spirit, the word of God, uh, with scriptures like... Um, he will give you perfect peace and um, other scriptures. Take the helmet of salvation which is and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So that's basically the, the armour of God. And I've probably added extra bits. But yeah, if you put your, put your armour of God on. So back to, back to the notes. That's like a helpful thing to stop. You know, you've got stop things uh, getting worse and, and and i was thinking of another thing is let go of the past you could have spiritual ivy as duty and responsibility a submission you might have a problem submitting to your partner or submitting to authority social media facebook image this could all be um and god loves you as you are you know he loves you as you are. He, he, you know, social media can be so damaging with the look at them having so much fun or, you know, they've got a better life than me, they're thinner than me and we're not perfect. We can have like a spirit of perfectionism. We're not perfect. We've got to be happy where we are and um, have peace, you know, peace and um, maybe just switch it off. Maybe that's an ivy. Maybe social media is an ivy. What others have of a sink so let jesus take the root out allow the holy spirit to come as the lord shows you areas and i suggest you write a list as you're listening to me just just write down things that come to mind of what could be ivy in your life spiritual ivy it's just write things down and and then give them to, to the lord in prayer don't don't be afraid to make some changes with this help so you know just write down or even draw a picture of like a of yourself and then arrows to it like well i think this or i'm i'm i do that or it, there could be all kinds of things and sometimes we don't know what it is so we ask the holy spirit to reveal we might be something on our mind we think oh, there is ivy i can feel i can feel it now and uh I think there is ivy and I, I want to pray about this, but I'm not sure. And then the Lord might just reveal an area where you're struggling or there's hurt or pain. And the ivy needs to come out in Jesus' name and the Holy Spirit can reveal to us. We acknowledge it. Um, it could be ivy. That desire, um, bigger house, be content, you know, not get this ivy out. And the grass isn't greener. It really isn't greener. And be happy and God is full of surprises with the life we have you know if you're discontent whoops I've lost me oh lost me paperwork if you're discontent you know there's always someone worse off and be happy with your lot and let's reflect on all areas of our lives not holding anything back from the Lord as he sees it all anyway and I think I've already said that <laughs> my arm's hurting hold on so accept the life you have. I mean, if you're in dire circumstances, you know, pray for change. 
you know, if you're in a really unhappy marriage or he's abusing you, pray for change or get out, you know. I'm just saying if you just, if your life's a bit humdrum and work's a bit boring, you know, pray for peace in your, your circumstances and um, accept the life we have. And God can work in these circumstances, you know, maybe get some new hobbies. If I just mean, I don't, I mean, if people are like, you know, say they've got like a house and children, the husband's at work and they're at home all day and they're bored, you know, thinking of having an affair or something, I don't know, and it, that's Ivy trying to get in your heart, so just know, put your helmet over, oh my, oh my God, and just say, no, I'm not going to, the grass isn't greener, and may, may God enrich your life where, where you're at and, and give you joy and peace. And peace most important, especially in these days, we need peace. So, if you've got an unhealthy relationship, um, list your unhealthy relationships and ask the Holy Spirit to, to guidance on your list. Like, yes, carry on, you know, know or pray about it. You know, there may be people in your life that are just really abusive, you know, and it's okay to just have a bit of space, you know, and um, if it's ivy, you know, growing around your heart, if they're like name calling you or pulling you down, you know, take time out and see if that's spiritual ivy. And, that's, and if someone's like, even on social media, if you've got trolls or something and they're like, you're this, you're that you know, and you're reading it, you feel you have to read every comment and then it's coming out and you can feel the ivy starting to get round your heart, like you're rubbish, you're no good, you're fat, you know, you're not you're ugly and you can feel the ivy just say no, protect your heart. And there is some scriptures about um give everything I think it's Philippians. Give all prayer requests to God and the peace of God will guard your heart and mind. And there's other ones, guard your heart for it is the spring of life. And there's some other ones, but there's plenty, if you Google it, there's plenty of scriptures about protecting your heart and mental health. So God gives us peace that passes all understanding and he, gi he gives peace not as the world gives. And there's a very famous scripture of that. God grants us this peace in our lives and this peace will help us as well to not be tempted to, you know, think oh they've got a better life than me you know just be peace that this is the life I've got this is where I am you know and good can come out of things all things work together for good guard your heart because it is the spring of life and pray for, for Jesus to protect your heart if you're particularly vulnerable or you attract the wrong kinds of people or you have a pattern of tracking men who are abusive or you know you just pray protect my heart give you my heart god give you my heart protect me show me give me your wisdom show me what's spiritual ivy do not be anxious about anything but by prayer and petition give your requests to god and the peace that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind so god wants to protect us he wants to give us wisdom and there's other scriptures that say if you lack wisdom in proverbs pray he'll give you the wisdom Guard your eyes what you see on television. We can get into habits of certain things we watch on telly. We can just go with the soaps too much, you know, and become addicted. Eat. All things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. It's, things, it's just having a healthy balance. Um, watch things that are wholesome. And, you know, if there's unhealthy relationships um, in your house even you know, pray to the Lord, put boundaries in, You can. there's a book on boundaries you can get, put a boundary in, I'll say I'm not going to have you speak to me like that, you know, um, I'm going to leave now, so, you know, and peace, may peace guard your heart. Don't be tempted to hold on to the last root of this ivy when you're digging out the spiritual ivy because it will just grow and strangle it's a wrong relationship if you're single and you're dating someone and they're not right for you but you don't want to be on your own and they're not nice to you 
you know they're already saying you can't do this or they're telling you what to do with your money then just or they're even violent so spiritual life is coming in your heart god wants you to be free he wants you to be free and be who he created you to be even if that means being single for a while oh my hand my hand's hurting holding there's lots of fun a better way for the next one it will grow again if you don't get the root out so in the pot snip 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 pull the root out and get rid of it don't be tempted to keep it it's not a pet it will just strangle the life of what it grows around Dig the root out. The truth will set you free and perfect love casts out all fear. So work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Do all you can to remain pure. We're, not, we're in the world but we're not of the world. And he who loves the world loses his soul. Same scriptures but I don't know where they are. They just come to mind. So peace that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. And put your armour on. So... That's just some thoughts I've had on spiritual ivy, and I hope this has helped. And I pray, Lord Jesus, come Holy Spirit into the people who are listening to this. Show them the spiritual ivy. Heal them, Lord, and help them dig out and cut it off, Lord, and dig out that last root of spiritual ivy, which is strangling their heart, emotions, mind, their eyes, what they're seeing. Just help them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless.